Oh, I just don't understand it. Zero flow. I just used this on a trip last fall. Did you test it before you left on your trip? No, I didn't. Always test your water filter before you leave on a trip. Coming up, I've got advanced techniques on how to unclog your Sawyer Squeeze water filter. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. The Sawyer Squeeze has been trusted by backpackers and through hikers for years, and for good reason. This tried and true device is capable of filtering a million gallons of water in its lifetime, typically way more than the average backpacker will ever need. The 0.1 micron absolute hollow fiber membranes are much more robust than other filters on the market, which is why they can be routinely backwashed. The Sawyer Squeeze hollow fiber membrane filters out all the sediment and dirt that you can see, as well as harmful bacteria, protozoa, and cysts that you can't see. As long as you don't let your filter freeze with water inside, damaging the fiber membrane, the filter will never let harmful pathogens through. Over time, and especially when filtering very dirty or silty water, the flow rate will start to significantly slow down. When this happens, you simply need to backwash the filter. There are a number of ways of accomplishing this with the Sawyer Squeeze. Included with your filter, the plunger is a great way to backflush the filter. Simply press the plunger against the drinking side of the filter and then force clean water through the filter fibers. Repeat this process several times until the water comes through clear and easily. Many people don't like carrying the extra weight of the plunger into the backcountry. After all, every ounce counts. Other options include the sports top found on many water bottles, like this 750ml smart water bottle. Simply mate the top of the sports top to the inner opening and forcefully squeeze. Another option is to purchase the cleaning coupling from Sawyer, which allows you to use any water bottle with a thread size of 28 millimeters. Independent studies have shown that the Sawyer cleaning coupling is the best option for backflushing your filter, as it allows for the greatest flow of clean water through the device compared to the syringe or sports cap. For me, this device does double duty, as it allows me to use the Sawyer squeeze as a gravity feed system, allowing me to do other camp chores while my water bottles fill, and at only 0.18 ounces, it weighs exactly the same as a sports cap. The key to a successful backwashing is to be forceful. The filter fibers can handle up to 20 psi. Just don't use your garden hose at home, as most are rated between 50 and 80 psi. A good backwash can restore up to 98.5% of the filter's flow rate. For some people out there, their Sawyer Squeeze will sit for weeks, maybe months between use. If enough time passes, the water contained within the filter will dry out. Depending on what kind of water you last put through the filter, minerals contained within the water may crystallize in the hollow fiber membranes. Well water, and even city water, contains various amounts of minerals with calcium, sodium, copper, and magnesium representing the highest concentrations found in both well and municipal water supplies according to research done by the USDA. Households with water softeners have higher concentrations of sodium than those without. Typically, softened water contains about 12.5 milligrams of sodium per 8 ounce glass. When dried out on the inside of your filter, all of these minerals can wreak havoc on the hollow fiber membranes of your filter. You'll know this is the case when you're out on trail and you get zero water flow through your filter. The most common culprit is mineral buildup on the fibers of your filter. I recently received a call from a backpacker friend of mine who started his through hike and experienced a zero flow situation in a Sawyer squeeze after sitting months in a bin and his first day on trail. Here's the first Hey, that guy on YouTube's an idiot moment. Got down to that first creek and I was going to uh, filter some water, fill up, keep on hiking. I started, filled up my bag, hooked on my Sawyer squeeze. Absolutely zero, nothing for a flow. You know how you learn from your mistakes? Should have checked my filter before I started hiking. I back flushed my filter when I get done with every hike. Go home, back flush it using tap water. You know, it's March. I haven't used it since October probably. I think what maybe happened is, you know, if you back flush it with uh, tap water, your tap water has calcium and different minerals, how they treat city water, maybe some of that calcium and such clogged up my filter. So, 
Am I going to get beaver fever? Stay tuned and find out. So what do you do about this? Number one, make sure you test your filter before using it in the backcountry. If you find that your filter isn't passing any water through or is extremely slow, follow these steps to breathe new life into your filter. The first step is to get a pot of hot distilled water going not to exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Let the filter soak in this bath for two hours, periodically using the plunger to back flush the filter during this hot water soak. This will help to loosen up and flush sodium deposits from within the filter. Step number two. After the hot water bath, fill a glass of household white vinegar and inject a full plunger of vinegar into the filter. Let the filter sit for at least 10 minutes and then repeat the process at least three times. The vinegar will help to dissolve and flush any calcium buildup on filter fibers. And finally, step number three. Once the vinegar flush is complete, use a fresh glass of distilled water to do a final internal rinse of the filter to get the vinegar out and prep it for storage or for use in an upcoming trip. Distilled water is used because it's created by boiling water and then condensing the collected steam back into a liquid. This process removes any impurities and minerals from the water. No minerals equals no buildup. So my recommendation is to use distilled water every time you back flush your filter prior to putting it in storage. Do this and your filter will be ready to go for your next adventure. Bonus tip, before putting your filter into long-term storage, forward flush the filter with a quarter liter of a double concentrated solution of Aquamira. This chlorine-based oxidizing treatment is designed to disinfect any bacterial biofilms which may be present inside of the filter, which could lead to growth during storage in between trips. This increased bacterial load can also follow the filter membranes. Let the solution sit inside the filter for about three hours before giving it one last flush with distilled water to remove this oxidizing solution. I hope you found value in this video, and if you have, we'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. If you have any comments, questions, or want a free sticker, leave them in the comments section below. By hitting that bell notification, you'll be notified of all of our upcoming videos on tips and tricks and our adventures from the backcountry. Guys, thanks again for tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail.